Today, we're going to be proving the base angles of isosceles triangle theorem. As part of the common core, this theorem states, in an isosceles triangle, the base angles, that's the angles opposite the congruent sides, these are the congruent sides, those are, these are the two angles we should, are congruent. First thing is we do is make a sketch of a triangle ABC, and we know that we have just stated right here that the, uh, the opposite uh, in the isosceles triangle, therefore this side and that side are equal, as we are congruent, as you can see here. So we can try to prove that the base angles, angle B and angle C, are congruent. So what we're going to do is construct AD, okay, which D is the midpoint between BC. And so we connect it from this vertex down to this point right here, which is D. So now that we've constructed that, and you can see the strategy that's already laid out there is now is we're going to, the strategy is to make these two, these two sides here, these two part triangles congruent, and therefore we can use these angles that would be the corresponding parts. So let's step through this, how we do this. So we've already given from up here that AB, segment AB, is congruent to segment AC. That's given, AB, AC, okay, because it's isosceles triangle. And that BD and DC are congruent because that's a midpoint. So if it's a midpoint, it's been cut in half. Next, we know that AD is itself, so it's a common, so it's reflective, all right? Therefore, we have set everything up for ourselves to say that triangle ABD is congruent to ACD because of side, 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 okay? Therefore, this angle B and angle C are congruent because there are corresponding parts. Therefore, we have now proven that in the isosceles triangle, the base angles, these base angles that are opposite the congruent sides, are congruent.